I had a partner in the business called Patrick Head. Patrick's input to the team, a man or an engineer who understands that it has to be a realistic approach. The cars must be safe and they must be very quick at the same time and affordable to build and operate. And that's what he delivered. And that's why when he arrived, things changed here dramatically. What sets Williams apart from other teams is our independent spirit and the fact that engineering underpins everything that we do. And we have embarked an ambitious new strategy to invest in new people and new technologies to get us back to the front of the grid. Formula One, yes it's a sport, but it's also probably more so a very strict engineering exercise populated by some extraordinarily capable people. The Randstad Williams Engineering Academy has been set up to provide potential young talent with academic and career support in their route towards becoming F1 engineers. We'll be identifying budding engineering talent from across the world and then supporting these students to give them the knowledge, skills and advice needed to forge a successful career in motorsport. Our goal is to help candidates, young talent, uh, be enriched along the way with experiences that will help them be more employable, will help them with their academic capability, and will also help them with their practical skill set. It's very important that we are talking about engineering and talking about Formula One in particular, and what a great industry it is to work in. Hence creating this academy with Randstad to bring in the engineers for the future that are going to be building our race cars for the future, and hopefully championship winning race cars. If we have a very efficient, effective engineering facility put together by the right people, I think we'll compete consistently at the front.